to the Bugbear Weightlifting Tournament. And here are the contestants. <laughs> Shall I go first? No, let's catch the form on some of the other contestants. You go first, all right? Okay, I don't mind. Atta boy, get out there and show us all what you can do. Good luck. As you know, today's contest is based on how much an individual can lift in relation to his own body weight. He only weighs five grams. He's so little. Our friend Frisky the Squirrel is the first to show us his stuff. <laughs> Very ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> one and a half times his own weight! Only one and a half? <laughs> hey! Let me tell you, Bug, lifting one and a half times your own body weight is no laughing matter. Doesn't seem like much to me. Huh? Well, if you think you're so strong, lift me up on your shoulders. Can't do it, can you? Well, like they say, Buster, talk is cheap. And actions speak louder than words. <laughs> so there! That little pip squeak is making fools out of us! I'll lift three times my own weight! Only three times? That's no big deal! Five times! <laughs> <laughs> now Percy's making us look bad. Go do your stuff, big boy. Just watch. Our next Our contestant, contestant to take his place in the scales, scales is the well-known powerhouse, Paggy! <laughs> so the scales are working. The scales are broken. Someone better fix them fast, or we'll have no contest. I don't know if we can set them to take Paggy's weight. Hmm, 3 over x equals the cosine of a 71 degree frustum. Yes, this should work very nicely. It'll bear your weight with no problem. Hmm. Hacky already bent an iron bar, and this stuff is thin. Don't you worry, it'll work. Well, if you say so, Professor. Uh... Uh-oh. Hey, it works. That's remarkable! I was positive that thin little tube would never work! I was too! I'll explain it all later. Thanks! I'm really curious to hear all about it! Packy will now attempt to lift two and a half times his own body weight! <sighs> well, if that's the best you can do! Not bad for a beginner. That's showing a packy. You seem pretty worn out for having lifted only two and a half times your own body weight. What weight do you think you can lift, smart guy? A hundred times my body weight. Huh? A hundred times his body weight? It's I gotta see. <laughs> Champ, let's see what you can do. <laughs> he sunk into the ground. We better help him. Oh dear, hurry, please get him out of there quickly. <sighs> you all right? I'm fine. Just help me out, will you? <sighs> Thanks. This ground is too soft for serious iron pumping. This boulder looks ideal. Admirable. I don't believe it. That little tyke just lifted a hundred times his own weight. He can do a great deal better than that. Let's see if it's true. 
Hey, Beetle, can you take a few more pounds? Certainly, Judge. Start piling them up. You hear that? Yeah. 200. 300. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 850 times his own body weight and our new champion. My studies reveal that it isn't necessary to be large to be strong. That doesn't make any sense. Sure has me puzzled. Mr. Judge, this isn't fair. The whole point of a weightlifting contest is to see who can lift the heaviest weight, isn't it? That's right, and today we're doing it in proportion to body weight. Uh, just a moment. I know how we can have a competition that is not based on the body weight ratio. Uh, that way Packet can retain his title, which is what he deserves. Not so fast, youngster. I simply said we'd have a new round of competition, one not based on body weight ratios. I did not say who'd win. These kids have got the surprise their lives in store for them. I can hardly wait to see their faces. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the new challenger. Who could it be? I don't know. It's just a kid. Which is you to be? It's up to you now, Junior. Show the crowd who you are. No body weight ratio this time. It's not fair, he's too small. This is a piece of cake. It's in the bag, Packy. You know what to do. Now go on. I agree with Hester, it's simply isn't fair. Packy, an elephant's an elephant and a beetle's a beetle. It's in the bag, I tell ya. <laughs> 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 Professor Turtle, what do you say, huh? I say listen and learn. The Tech Pen 17X, go. Wanna bet he probably told him to head straight for the shower. <laughs> At Challenger Jr. will now attempt to lift a rock heavier than the one Packy hoisted. <laughs> Well, Junior, if you think you can lift this little rock, then you go right ahead. I'd like to see it, too. <laughs> Come on, oh, kid! No. You can do it! I almost feel sorry for the poor little thing. Well, I don't. Excellent, Junior, but don't head back to the lab just yet. I don't believe it! Oh, no! I declare Junior the winner of this year's weightlifting contest! Don't be fired, We'll never live it down. <laughs> Come here, kids. I'll tell you how it happened. We could use an explanation. How could that little bug be Packy an elephant? It's hard to believe. Very well. Listen carefully, all of you. The winner was Hercules Prime, a robot of my invention, and to whom I gave the form of a beetle. Over here, Hercules! Huh. Huh. Okay, Hercules, how did you manage to beat the elephant with those matchstick legs? I shall explain. Take a look at this tube. It's formed of one, two, three, four, five concentric strata. Do you see that? It is the material that was used to replace the broken steel rod on the scales. Now you, the elephant, and most other animals have bones in their legs that take the brunt of any weight the body carries. But beetles have no bones. They have varying numbers of layers of cartilage. I get it. That way they can lift heavy things and distribute the weight uniformly. I discovered this principle among beetles, so I constructed a robot along those very same lines. This proves that strength doesn't necessarily depend on size. I certainly have a lot of misconstrued ideas to get straightened out. Never to undervalue anyone because of his size is a good lesson. Uh, I think this belongs to Junior. Uh-huh. Don't you? Indeed. <laughs>